Oh, right, what's up guys? This is Rambler and welcome back to some more Prison Architect. We have our people finishing up. Oh, they already finished up the hardwood floor. I was going to try and catch that before I started recording, but apparently I didn't get it fast enough because I'm slow. Anyway, I got one more optional thing to create outdoor lighting around the facility. And apparently there's two lights. We got two lights. Where do we want to put them? Where do we want to put them? Is there any reason to put them? I mean, I guess I could just slap one on the path and then... Oh, it's cute. Okay, I can't see. I can barely make that out. Whoa, what? Whoa! It shows who... Oh my god! It shows who's... That is so cool! That is so cool! We're just gonna put one on the other side, because it's just easier, I guess. Okay, so we're doing that. That's actually really cool, because you can, like, if you hover over the thing, it shows you the... It shows you who's doing it! I don't know why the trail is a weird parabola, but we won't talk about that. Some weird kind of thing. He's also tired! I'm so sorry that I made you work through the night to make an execution chamber because this guy is not going to be tired anymore. I guess I got to click the Polaroid in the cell. Don't want to click the Polaroid. I'm clicking the Polaroid. The chief. Chief just looks kind of interesting. Oh. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. Don't like the sounds that I'm hearing currently. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he's did? I don't. It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Oh, this is dark and demeaning. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Why is she living in a prison? It's got all the aesthetics of the game. What's she doing over there? What's she doing over there, Chief? Oh, oh, all right, okay. All right, well, I guess that's a happening. Holy shit. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward, I... Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Oh my fuck. Oh my. Oh, that is brutal. Oh. Oh. I didn't. I didn't expect. You know. You know, there's a lot of things that I could have gotten from this. And that just. You know, the screams and everything were very real. And I didn't. Oh, I didn't like it. And I'm like, that was more than a description, Chief. All right? All right? Okay? Deserve every volt. Okay, well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. See, the priest is right. Priest is right. I'm going to side with the priest on this one for a hot second. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure you're in yourself that you can deal out such a final judgment? The, the priest looks like he's seen some shit. Look at that. He's got the thousand-yard stare over there. Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. I, I mean, you're right. You're right, but still. Ooh, it's rough. It's rough. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's got a point there. There's another point to be made. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed this crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? To be fair... I mean, there's so many, so many political issues here and things, and my god, this is a lot. Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Well, I mean, he wouldn't be running free. He'd be spending his life in prison, which is not free. Look at how great the pavement looks that he's walking on. There's... Can I leave? Can I just go? I'd love to just get out of here. Good work so far. <laughs> See, I just want this to double homicide. Don't pat me on the back and tell me good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet. What do you mean the execution room isn't functioning yet? The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. You know, you left out a very crucial step. I could have, we could have had this execution room done and all of the drama, not drama, the traumatic things that I just witnessed and experienced would have led to something actually happening, but instead I get to install the freaking electricity. 
that we need to connect it to the electrical supply. Congratulations! I there's a power grid. Okay, this is really cool. But my God, I've witnessed a lot here. We're now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Oh, I thought it just only part of the prison, but I guess we're doing the entire thing. Each building is connected to the power grid by these thick underground, excuse me, underground electrical things. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Well, I understand how substations work, but thank you. As you can see, this entire wing of the prison cells is without power. Well, I mean, I feel like we should have done something about this before. All of the lights are out. Can <laughs> I understand? To fix this problem, we first need to switch into the utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. This is such a change of pace, my god. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. Okay. So, utilities. Electrical cables. Do I just... Do I just... Do I just... Do I just do that? Is that the thing that I do? What am I doing? Power station capacitor, power switch, eastern power station. Oh, there's, there's little individual ones. How do I get the little... Is there, is, is there any way? Uh, what happens if I... Okay, so somebody should be making this, and then I should be able to do electrical things? Hold on a second, I'm gonna find out what this does. I'm gonna give it a, give it a hot second. Give it a hot second. Oh, they're carrying the potatoes. The potatoes. Those are very important. I've seen some shit. Like, my god. He's just carrying the- Okay, not gonna, not gonna, not gonna, not gonna. However, I guess they're probably using that. Alright, fair enough. Why didn't you do the one that- why, What kind of order are you going in? Who taught you guys how to work? And you're just leaving on the job. Just leaving on the job. You're just half finished. You're not even half finished. You're like a quarter done and you just said to go home. Hey, this guy's actually putting in some work. Look at him go. Oh my god, there's a lot of you. Okay, hold on. Sorry. I take back what I said. I am very sorry. There's a lot of you. And now they're gone? They're just leaving. Okay, they're just leaving, apparently. I don't know how the efficientness works in this game, but my god, it is not working very effectively. Efficiently? Efficiently. Good god. Okay, I am... I am experiencing a lot of emotions. I don't know what's going on here. Is it... Okay, that's up and running. So is that fine? Incoming call. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. <laughs> new electric chair. Again, what era are we in? <sighs> Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with mains with mains cables. Connect the electrical chair to the power supply. Thank you. I'm glad that the staff wrote that out for me at the very bottom. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Do I want to just... Mm -hmm. Alright, well I guess we're just going to have to do it this way. Whoops, do it, uh, do it the old hard way here. Nice. Alright, so we get that taken care of. And that should be the end of that, right? Not right. Right? Not right. Is this... Light. 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 Because all these lights don't actually require a big... Yeah, see, those lights sprout off like that. Are these going to sprout from the main power source? Alright, I'm just going to wait. Is the thing done? Is the thing done? Alright, hold on a second. I've been reading up the electric chair. Apparently it was last used in 2013, but it's still a liable option of execution. We have lethal injection, which is technically, in my mind, more humane than fucking electric chair. I'm just saying, you know... There's a lot of politicalness in there. Take it with a grain of salt, that's my opinion. But my god. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I didn't know that was still a thing. I mean, it says it's a good alternative to hanging, which I kind of think it is, unless you snap the neck when you first hang, because when you snap the neck, it's a bunch of nerves and shit. 
Never mind. We're not going to get into this. But I'm still fascinated by the fact that we have an electric chair instead of like something else. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. We should test Who are we going to test it on? How are we going to test it? It's just going to turn it on for a few seconds make sure everything is okay. We're going to blow the power grid, aren't we? Is that something that's going to happen? Can we blow the power grid, please? Yep, there it is. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. Son of a bitch. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Good god. Alright, well that's great. That's great. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Why is it a two-step process? You just turn the power back on. Switch the power station back on by clicking it and select switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. Oh, well, congratulations. All right, so we're going to build the capacitors. And while we build the capacitors, we're going to do stuff. All right, hold a second. All right, so it's switched on. We're good to go. Can we build the capacitors while we expand the power station with three new capacitors? Test the chair again, click on it, and then switch on. Okay, I can do that. All right. I think we're good to go. We're gonna wait until these 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 fine people bring me my capacitors. They're just gonna carry the capacitors like nobody's business, even though capacitors are probably huge. When I think capacitors, I usually think of things that are on like a motherboard or something inside. So you know, you know. But that is a large ass capacitor. Like I understand that these are meant for capacitating thing. I don't know. I don't know why they're there. Obviously. But it's just, it's just a lot. They're just basically checking into gas batteries. So, um, can we get the other one installed? I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it if we could get the other, other, other one installed. Because I want to test this electric chair, and then I can finally, finally be done with this. Tormentiousness. Why is everyone tired? Why don't you just take a break? Do you guys need breaks? I'll give you breaks. Oh, we ordered some, ordered, ordered a stack. Of electrical table. Nice. Table. Electrical cable. Good lord. Okay, let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. And we're done. Nice. Congratulations. Alright, let's go to the execution room and we'll turn her on. Alright, it's turned on. Turned off. Okay, well I did that. Now what? There it is. Okay. Hold well on. I believe we are finished with this job. I keep changing his voice. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's important in our business. Why is this a business? Are they businesses? Never mind. Try not to worry about what happens next. Try not to worry about it! <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. There he comes. There he comes. God, the, the photos in this just make it all the more real. You can feel what's going on. Like. Jeez. Oh, this is brutal. It's brutal. There's no, there's no other, like, there's no other, like, excuse for it. Not excuse, but you know what I mean. There's just no other way to describe it. It's just, it's just brutal. Can I help you? Edward? Why does he? Oh, this is after he, okay. This is right after he, he, uh, murdered them. I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things that I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes. In the eyes of the law, there's no other way. Peace is right. He's asked for his forgiveness, and that's all he can do. It is time, Edward. You've done the right thing even though this world will not forgive you for it. You'll be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. Can I make me cry? Like, my God, this is, this is some deep, deep shit. Ugh. Oof. Oof. Yep, there it is.
There it is. Edward Ramsey, you've been found guilty on two counts of murder in your first degree. In the first degree, sorry. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan? I'm sorry. That's a lot. That's just, that's, oh my god. There was so much backstory to that. Why did they, oh, they've, oh, this, ooh, oh, this is really, whew. All right, I'm just going to roll into chapter two, just running another business of being prisons and whatnot. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with this. My god, there's a fire. Hold on, can we, there's a crisis brewing at one of our facilities. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The prison priority is to put it out, stop any casualties, and prevent more damage. Use the emergency services button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Uh, d uh, hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, there's so many things that happened. That was an emotional roller coaster from start to beginning. My start to beginning, start to end. My God, that was a lot. I was not expecting that much like backstory between all the things, but it makes sense. It makes you feel something. But who? That was a lot. Anyway, we're gonna just kind of move on from that because there's no way to get around that without being all like like political. What's right? What's wrong? Because there's a lot of things that could be cut open and talked about, but we're not gonna discuss those matter right now. No, there's a lot. It was heavy. Whew. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're okay. We're good. All right. So anyway, hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Question mark. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.